This is Solid Signal's tutorial on hooking up Televez indoor distribution amplifiers. Televez indoor distribution amplifiers, the highest quality European made distribution amplifiers, and they come in two configurations. What you see here would let you control up to three TVs with two TVs getting amplification. There's also a model that will let you run up to five TVs with only four TVs getting amplification. That's what you see here. The only difference is the number of F connectors on the outside. Otherwise, the body and the shell are the same. As you can see, the one for five TVs has two extra F connectors. Connecting these is actually very easy if you look at the diagram that's printed on the inside of every amplifier. The up arrow is where the antenna connects to, the down arrow with the TV is where the closest TV connects to, and the down arrows shown everywhere else are where the other TVs connect. Here's a diagram that shows how it all goes together. As you can see, this is the one that controls five TVs, and the only thing that's not shown is the actual power cord. Instead, you just see the letter V, which is indicating alternating current AC. Unlike other amplifiers in the Televez line, these ones use simple F connectors, so pretty much any pre-made cable will work. Swing them open if you want to get a little bit better look, although that's not necessary if you're just going to connect things. As I said, pretty much any cable with a screw-on or push-on F connector will work. Here's one I just happen to have here. I would really recommend screw-on F connectors, even though I know cables with push-on are somewhat cheaper, because you're going to get a better connection and it's not going to fall out when you need it to. Just go ahead and connect everything that you need to connect and cover up any unopened ports with little terminator caps. You can get these at SolidSignal.com or your local home store. I really recommend using them aside from keeping the connections nice and dust free. They're also going to give you an extra 1 to 2 dB per port boost because when you leave a port unterminated it actually makes it worse. When all your connections are made go ahead and attach the power. Make sure that's the last thing you do and make sure that you see the green indicator light turn on when, it, when you plug everything in, as you'll see right here. If that light is not on, something is wrong. Occasionally you'll find that an amplifier might be just too strong and you don't need as much amplifier as you have. In this case you can actually use this little tiny supplied tool to turn a screw that will pad the amplifier down up to 15 dB. I'm not sure why you would pad it all the way that far because at that point you just basically have a splitter, but you can do it just insert the tool into the screw and turn it. It's completely variable and you can even put the screw back in the little case when you're done. This unit does not have a grounding screw connection. Your antenna should be grounded from outside. Sometimes if you're using a house ground it will add a little bit of noise which is why this particular amplifier has a two-pronged power connector to eliminate that noise. Like I said, make sure everything is grounded outside and you'll be fine.